Hey everybody, Matt Zerby here with Wasco Nursery and I wanted to come to you today and talk a little bit about Arbor Vita. I'm standing in front of a fairly mature hedge of Techni Arbor Vita that we planted sometime in the late 90s. These were actually some leftovers that we had in the field and we put this row in here um, to give a little winter protection from the from the north winds for some of our greenhouses and I'll just kind of show you here you kind of see we have this long line of them all along here. This is one of our uh, unheated uh, storage greenhouses. And this row of Techni Arborvita, you may know notice, uh, has some very small brown things on it. And uh, those are the seeds or uh, cones of the Arborvita. And this year we have a bumper crop of seeds on these things. And a lot of people have been sending us pictures, especially on their younger, you know, if they've got a one or two or three year old uh, Arborvita, they're sending us pictures of these. I'm gonna zoom in. These are actually cones or seeds from last year here by my thumb. And then these are from this year. And while there were only a handful uh, last year, as I kind of zoom around, I see a few here and there, but this year they're just absolutely loaded. So this is what we would call a mast year. Um, we're seeing the same thing with our oak trees, like this big, beautiful red oak. If we look at the ground below it, there are a ton, many of them have already been smushed, but a ton of acorns on the ground this year. And many have not even fallen off. If I zoom in, you can kind of see there, beautiful, healthy red oak just loaded with acorns. So generally, when we have a drought year, or in this case, two years of drought, even though we've had some nice rain recently, we would still consider this a drought year, especially with the drought of May, June this year. And uh, last year was a drought year. And so when trees go through periods of drought, oftentimes they sort of, quote unquote, think they're dying. And when they think they're dying, they will produce an excessive amount or an exceptionally large amount of uh, seed. So in the case of uh, Arborvita, they're producing all of these seeds. In the case of acorns, they're producing all, or in the case of the oaks, they're producing all of the acorns. And uh, so we're getting a bumper crop. And what does that mean for you? Basically nothing. It's totally natural. Uh, it's normal for the trees to look this way. If you've got an Arborvita that's loaded with cones or seeds, don't be alarmed. It is perfectly normal and natural for the plant to be doing that. Same with our oaks. That's the way that they reproduce or keep the species going uh, is by producing a lot of seeds. Of course, if we have, um, you know, like I said, we've had some good rain. Of course, if we have another drought year, um, giving the trees some TLC, maybe a little extra water during the very hot dry periods will probably help. Uh, this row of Arbor Vita here is uh, completely unirrigated. We don't water these at all. So uh, what you see is what you get and uh, they'll be perfectly fine. It's not gonna cause any harm or damage to the trees whatsoever. Just something you just kinda have to live with. Um, so I hope that that helps. And if you have any questions about something that you might be noticing on your trees, give us a shout, we'd be happy to help.